Hello and welcome to Someka US zip code heat map generator. This tool mainly colors the US zip code areas easily with your own data according to the color values you determine in the settings part. So let's see how it works. Before going into the details, let us show that you can turn on and off the instructions from here. To have a clear view, let's turn off for now. The template has three sections on the sheet. These are the map on left hand side, the data on the right hand side and the settings part below. Let's start with the data section. In the data section, you put your values and text for each zip code. At the moment, we're presenting you the zip codes and the population data. However, you can edit them as you like. It is possible to copy and paste from another workbook or you can edit manually just like this. In the settings section we can adjust how the map will look. So let's quickly check each part. Under the color palette we have five different color sets to paint the map. These can be chosen by the select button right under them. Additionally, you can also change the cell color inside the set and create your own. So, let's give an example. Let's say that instead of this color, we would like to see this color. Once you fill the cell with a new color, click on select. On the right hand side of the color palette, you may see the data range section. This section defines the limits to color the zip code areas according to the value you input in the database. The data ranges will check each value and project the equivalent color for that zip code area on the map. So, if the zip code value is between 0 and 4000, it is going to be painted in this color and this goes just like that. On the left you can find the area where you can set the background color, zip code border color, no value zip color and legend appearance. The background color can be changed by filling in the cell with the necessary color. Zip border color defines the border color between the zip code areas and it, it could be changed by the drop down menu once you click on the cell. You can either set it as white, grey or black. No value zip color represents the color of a zip code area where it doesn't have any value in the data section, such as this. Just like the background color you could also change it by filling in the cell with a new color. And lastly, legend display. You can show or hide the legend on the map by selecting the cell and choosing the necessary option. When you will click on the hide and press the paint button, the legend on the map is going to disappear. After you're done with all the settings, click on the paint button to build your heat map generator. As you see, your map is ready. Under the text settings, you may choose what to display on zip code areas. No text will only display the colors for zip code areas. Display zip codes will show the default zip codes on the correct zip code area and display text will show your own text values that you input in the data section on the right zip code area. Also you can set the text size of the texts and zip codes to be displayed from here. So. 
Let's try different settings with different states now. So let's say we would like to have a green color palette with a small color difference and let's play with the ranges as well let's say also we don't have these values and we would like to displace the zip codes with a to text size and we don't want to see the legend and once we press on the paint button our template is ready as you see let's try it on another state for now Let's say we would like to select this color palette with a different background color and we would like to display the texts and we would like to set the zip code border color to black. Once we press on the paint you will see that the map is going to be adjusted according to the settings you set. You can also copy your map and paste it into a PowerPoint slide as a picture. Or you can also click on export as PDF button and you will get a ready to use document. Moreover, all the shapes on the map are editable. You can move, resize, color, copy and paste into another workbook as well. All you have to do is enter the password that we give you and later on select the shapes that you would like to copy and then later use the shapes and you can edit them as you like. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check our other templates at www.someka.net